Yo, what's up guys? Tech here back with another video and today in this video we are gonna test out Fortnite Mobile on Tab S7 but you might be wondering how I got the game. Of course, it's been removed from the Play Store due to the Fortnite ban but you can download it through the website of the Epic Games or maybe from the Galaxy Store. So this is what settings on the Tab S7. Only 30 FPS even though you have 120Hz display. Uh, I know it's kind of disappointing but still we might get to see 120 fps later on when it's completely released for right now the time being it's only for the pre-orders available so this is the low 100% resolution so it's actually running quite smooth it's stable 30 fps and yeah it's actually kind of playable because so many people are still playing 30 fps a device worse than this one but of course it's kind of hard to play in 30 fps actually for me because you know i play on ipad pro that had 120 fps but i guess i'll just make do with the 30 fps this time all right yeah it's definitely definitely slowing me down i guess it's okay but i'll be testing with every graphic settings on 100 percent resolution let's give this a try again oh and yeah the tab s7 comes with the snapdragon 865 plus processor and it comes with 6 gb of ram and 8 gb of ram variant that's the specs for the tab s7 right now All right now guys, I'm gonna switch to the medium quality settings for the graphics at the 100% resolution with 30 FPS. All right, there we go. And let's hop back to the battle lab and let's see how it looks in medium. So it's not that difference between the low and medium right now, but the color saturation of the display is kind of sharp. You know, it's more sharper than the iPad itself, but it's still not that clear even with the 100% resolution just like the iPads have itself dude this is definitely not a big difference but still it's playable with medium 100% resolution the FPS we are getting is 30 and it's kind of stable um I don't think it's a difference yeah it's definitely not a difference but still it's okay low that's it medium is better than low of course So right now we're gonna switch to the Epic, same with 100% resolution and 30 FPS of course. Alright, let's hop back to the battle lab again and see the difference. So it's actually much more sharper now, it's much more clear. Before it was a pretty blur even with the 100% resolution but I guess there's a difference between low and Epic directly. But it's not as sharp as the iPad's Epic graphics. And of course, yeah. All right, yeah. The 30 FPS, the only FPS settings we have right now, the maximum, it's stable even with the Epic graphics with 100% resolution. So I guess you can play it like that. All right, now listen to me carefully. I'm gonna switch to the max settings that is the epic plus 30 fps plus 100 percent resolution and listen me carefully i think that there is no difference between the epic and the high graphics but there will be a max difference between the graphics if you switch from low and directly to the epic graphics so yeah that's why you might not find any kind of difference between the high or epic but there is the max difference between the graphics with low and then directly switch with the epic one so of course it's on 30 fps max right now and it's stable so you can play without any problem even with the 100 percent resolution all right guys now you need to listen to me very carefully 
as you know that this device has 120Hz display but in Fortnite the frame rates are restricted to pretty much at 30fps only but you know I'll make this video again once the Epic optimizes this device with 120fps added frame rates and of course even if Epic only gives it 60 or maybe 90 I'll upload it again to see everything how it works so that's it guys the tab s7 with fortnite restricted pretty much to 30 fps only hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did of course go and just blast that like button thanks for watching peace out